Hey, it's Felice, totally awake, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, then welcome. Be sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button. Now, one of my viewers reached out to me and let me know that they wanted to hear my take on the nonsense that Stephen Lett was saying at the most recent convention, and I would, didn't want to delay on giving my take on this foolishness, so here it goes. Now, if we think about it, we're not born as friends of God because we're born as sinful offspring of Adam. Actually, if you think about it, we're born as enemies of God. Sometimes you'll hear people say of a little baby, look at that little angel. But more accurate would be to say, look at that little enemy of God. Mm. Wow. Just wow. Our you all's mouth just dropped open like mine's was when I heard him say this. It's unbelievable, right? Like, what is wrong with this man? Like, what is really wrong? Let's listen to that again. Actually, if you think about it, we're born as enemies of God. Sometimes you'll hear people say of a little baby, look at that little angel. But more accurate would be to say, look at that little enemy of God. Now, this is one of the leaders of the Jehovah's Witnesses, Stephen Lett, okay? And let's just take a look at one of his homeboys, you know, another one of the eight leaders, and what he had to say, okay, what he wanted us to keep in memory about Jehovah's Enemies. Check this out. Hey. That's Jehovah's enemies. They're going to vanish like smoke. Now, as if it wasn't bad enough that he would say that everyone basically that's not following the cult is going to vanish like smoke. OK, because who is he to say who God's enemies are, first of all? But then he comes back and talk about the kids and say that the little kids, little innocent children are enemies of God, children are the closest thing to God. Let's listen to some more. Now, of course, we love that little baby, and it's not, not hopeless, because our loving Creator has made reconciliation with Him within the reach of everyone. We can become a good friend of God, and that close relationship with Jehovah will become our most valuable possession. Now, what he really means to say is our relationship with the cult, our service to the cult will become our most valuable possession. All right. That's what they want to put in the heads and the hearts and the minds. You know, if you're really if you if you've listened to the entire convention, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say that it's almost like they want their members to open some type of portal. They're telling them to meditate, open your heart, open your mind and your soul and peace and telling them what to do and how to get peace and follow us and do this and this how you're going to get peace you know just making them think that they got to follow these certain steps to get to this end goal of peace when it's all a bunch of nonsense but the blow at the children though it's really, really unbelievable, and it really just goes to show why the parents, the Jehovah's Witness parents, really do have no natural affection towards their children because from the very beginning, they are being taught that their kids are enemies of God. You know, that's why it's easy for them to let their children die refusing a life-saving blood transfusion, or that's why it's easy for them to let... uh brother or sister, elder, so-and-so, M-word, their children, okay? And because there's no second witness, and because Watchtower told them to leave it in Jehovah's hands because there's no second witness, and, that's, and because that's their rules, they're willing to listen to that and not go to the proper authorities and get the help that their child needs, okay? And, and get justice served, from the, the criminal that committed a crime, okay? So let's just go over to Reddit and look at some of these comments. People are in outrage. 
you know, the they think that gonna, Jehovah's Witnesses are so hateful, which, you know, they're going to vanish because of the leadership. Like, so. They they certainly are. Um, they, they have become mentally corrupted. Of God um, someone was uh, physically in, mentally in. They woke up Actually, because of <laughs> because of this very talk. Just this fast. They're disturbed. I'm pretty sure they're going to be waking baby. up. Um, this is going to wake a lot of people up. And, you know, like some people are saying, they're glad when they just stick their own foots in their mouths. You know, people are glad, you know, I don't even have to say much. They're saying it all for me. You know, like they Stephen Lett is doing his the, his, the damage himself with his rhetoric, talking about the last of the last days and now this. I mean, Tony Morris and his nonsense. It's just a bunch of nonsense. And we are not here for it, but we are here for the tower falling, though. We are here for more and more people waking up. And they will. They most certainly are because, you know, he he's just letting anything fly out of his mouth. And and the members going to be just flying away. So... That's all I got to say about that. I mean, we could literally go on and on about how ridiculous this is and how untrue it is, okay? They are not. Children are not enemies of God. That's 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 a, that's a lie. I'm out, y'all, because this is sickening. I can't even talk about it no more. I don't even know what else to say right now. So um, just let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. It's Felice, totally awake. I'll be back with another one. Bye. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe.